Yo, what up, y'all? Aight, so there's two things I want to talk with you guys about in today's video, man, when it comes to the PS5 Slim here. Both of them is kind of like preventing an issue uh, that could potentially happen when it comes to the system. Now, the first one is I want to show you guys how to properly clean your PS5 Slim here to keep it updated, keep it fresh, so that way you don't run into any long-term issues with it because I told you guys in one of my previous videos that I have for you guys up here is that one of my concerns is the fact that this system here is so open, like you can see here I can clearly see the fans I don't know if you guys can see it right there you can clearly see the fan right here and you can also see it on this side as well because the top of the system here is so exposed it could potentially get a lot of dust and a lot of stuff like that uh, inside of the system here so you definitely want to make sure you guys are maintaining this and cleaning it and keeping it up to date so I highly recommend you guys bookmark this video right here so that way you guys can come back to it when that time comes for you guys to need to clean this now the other thing is as far as even with these being so open Open here on the sides that you guys can see and I can show it to you here you can see like this gap here being open as well as it is on this side as well so to me this is something that I feel like you guys are gonna need to do when it comes to this PS5 slim now the other thing I want to do and a couple of you guys out there asked me about this is what drive am I actually using to put inside of here and how do you actually set it up and get it all installed and reformat it and all that and kind of understand the full scope of how you actually properly install this into your system and how you actually set it up from a software perspective and how you set it up to where you get games to automatically download to this versus trying to download on the internal store. So we're going to go through all of that in this video here. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right. So the first thing I want to do is uh, let me just kind of talk about some of the materials and stuff that I have here on the desk. Uh, obviously, we don't really need the controller here, so I can move that out of the way. But I got a microfiber cloth here. I think this is definitely going to be super important uh, for you guys to maintain and just keeping this device clean. The first reason I would get a microfiber cloth is because the top part of this system here it is like a glossy top and what happens with gloss is the fact that you're gonna get fingerprints galore on here um, as well as the entire top and the middle and the front here is all like a glossy material uh, that does collect fingerprints and dust as well so you're definitely gonna need a microfiber cloth for that um, as well as using it on the inside which I'll show you guys here in a second and then I also have uh, this kind of tool kit here that I recommend you guys pick up I'll have a link for it down in the description section below I think it was only like 20 bucks or something like that it really wasn't that expensive uh, plus you can use this this for other things just kind of around the house I thought this was a nice pickup and then we also have these Zeiss wipes now I use these things for everything I use them to clean my glasses I use them to wipe my camera lenses down uh, I use them to wipe like my TV my laptops my screens behind me I use these things literally for everything like I do not leave the house without my Zeiss wipes man so shout out to Zeiss uh, for that and then um and then when it comes to installing this, now what I'm actually using is the WD, the Western Digital Black. This is the SN850 NVMe SSD. Now this does include the heat sink on it, so you don't have to worry about buying like a separate heat sink to lay on top of it. But you do want to make sure if, if you guys are not getting one that's officially licensed for the PlayStation, definitely make sure you guys get one that's going to include a heat sink on it, or just make sure you guys have a heat sink uh, for you guys to be able to lay over top. Um, but you definitely want to make sure it is slim enough because it is a small area for you guys to be able to put that in here which I'm going to show you that here in a second so the first thing I want to do is let's go ahead and uh, pop this bad boy open now I'm not going to do like a full like tear down or anything like that because I'm going to be honest with y'all man like I'm not interested in going all the way down to the motherboard because I just personally don't see a need for it but you know I do understand there's people out there that actually like that but for me I'm not doing that. I'm just going to show you the surface of where I personally think is the best areas of most people out there is going to actually need to clean uh, when it comes to this setup here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and pop uh, this top off, which just pops up super easy. Put a little bit of force on there and it comes right off. And then the other thing that I want to do is, is pop off the uh, drive here as far as the disk drive. So we're just going to pop up this end right here and then boom, that comes off super easy. Now, one trick that you can use to remember which side the M.2 slot is on is just always remember it's on the side of where the actual disk drive is. It's the easiest and best way for you guys to remember it. Now, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my tool right here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and unscrew this and then boom. Take this off, all right, put the screw off to the side, and then we're just gonna go ahead and lift this up. 
if I can get this bad boy up. Come on now. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we got that off there. And then right here, and let me see if I can show it to you guys. Right here is where you guys are actually going to plug this into. It's super simple, man, for you guys to do. So let's go ahead and just take this one out the box. Where my, uh, where my knife at? We gonna do it without a knife. <laughs> and again, this is the, let me see what the model is again. This is the SN850P, is the one that I'm personally using here. And uh, again, it includes the heat sink on it, as you can see right there laying on top. So if I go ahead and just plug this in like so, you just find the slots, align it. If I can align it, there we go. Boom, push that in like so. And now you're gonna push this down. Now the thing is you are gonna have a screw that's right here in the back. Now this is gonna be a screw that you guys are gonna use back here that's gonna allow you guys to be able to lock the uh, SSD here in its place. So we're just gonna push this down like so. Oh, if I can get it right here. We're just gonna push this down, put the screw, put the screw in right here. And then we're just gonna screw this part in. Super simple, man. Really not a lot of work or anything like that you need to do with it. And then boom, once we got it in there, Make sure it's fully tightened. All right, cool, we got it tight. Boom, that's not going nowhere. And then from there, we just put the plate right back on top like we found it. Take the original screw, stick it right in there, screw this part back on. And just like that, man, you just added a whole two terabytes or one terabyte or 500 gig, whatever you guys have, you just added that to your system. Now for me, I wanna kinda of talk about this here for a little bit before we put the plates back on. Now, when it comes to the storage option, one of the questions that you guys ask is, how much storage uh, capacity can the PlayStation Slim or even the OG PS5 actually handle? Now Sony actually claims it can actually handle up to eight terabytes that you can add additionally to this system. Now for me, I just added a two terabyte one to mine, and again, I have a link for this down in the description section below, along with everything else that's on this table. Now, the cool thing about being able to add eight terabytes to the system here is the fact that it is already one terabyte on the internal SSD of this system, meaning that you can have a PS5 Slim out here with nine freaking terabytes on there, man. I'm talking, you got all the games you want to play. <laughs> but anyway, man, before we actually put the cover and everything back on here, the next thing I want to show you guys is exactly how I would personally maintain and kind of clean this system system right here because again you can just see even if I was to put the plates hold on let me flip it back around even if I was to put the plates back on you can see the fan is right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, I'm going to take the fan here out um, here on this system here and it comes off as one piece so all I got to do is just unscrew these four screws that's right here because the fan is gonna be the main area that I feel like this is gonna be what you guys are gonna need uh, to be able to clean the most because this is the area that I feel like is gonna collect the most dust because again, it is pushing a lot of stuff out of the system uh, so that way it's not clogging up the internals of the system. So let's just go ahead and take these four screws out. First thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just lift this up and the whole fan unit comes out. Well, actually we need to pop this open here first so there's a little cap here that we want to pop this open first in order for us to be able to lift this up now it is a sticky adhesive on there so i wouldn't lay that like face down i would definitely lay it up so that way it can maintain its adhesive on it and then we have uh just some cables here that connects the fan so what you want to do is is just disconnect the cable here or you may not even have to disconnect it. Hold on, let me see if I can just pull this up. Yeah, I wouldn't even actually disconnect that uh, to be able to do so. So this is the fan here that you guys get in here. Now, one thing that I would do with this fan here is obviously the first thing you wanna do is, is try to blow off as much dust as you possibly can without having to, without actually having to use the brush. But with this kit here, you do get this brush right here. And with this, man, I would literally just lightly go through it and just get all of the dust out of here. Obviously, I wouldn't do it over the system, but I would just lightly get all of the dust out, which basically, you might have to actually unplug this, which is something I would do. You just pull this cable up here, and now you can take the whole fan out. But I would just lightly dust this off. Um, and then just make sure you're getting all of the dust out. Now, obviously, I've only had this for a couple of days, so I don't have any dust in here. And the other thing you could possibly do is, is just in here, if you see dust that's inside of here, again, you wanna just kinda take your microfiber cloth and then just, you know, just kinda get all the way in there and get all of the dust that you can possibly be out of there. And then you might have to use the brush here to possibly loosen up some dirt that might, you know, possibly stick on the sides or something like that. But essentially, this is cleaning this whole system out here, man, and making sure that you are cleaning the fan 
hands on, on the disk drive side before we actually switch it over to the other side. So what I'm gonna do is just go back and just install this back into here. So to do that, I just lay this flat like so. Take this port, take this cable right here and just plug it right back into the motherboard and boom, the fan is back in there. And now we just take the screws and we're just gonna put them right back in the same place. Dang it, I just dropped the screw inside of there. <laughs> well, I dropped the screw back in there. We gotta take this bad boy back out so I can get this screw. Long screw in the top right corner, short screw in the left corner. And then with the other screws can go in either one of them because they're literally the same size. So now that we got the fan back on, the last thing we want to do is just take this same plate here and we want to just put it right back exactly how it was. So we're just going to run that in here like this. Take this plate and we're just going to sit that right back on top and it's just going to sit right in there. Now the other thing that I would do when it comes to cleaning this system here before we actually take this over uh, and get it booted all the way up so that way we can properly finish installing the SSD in here is I would just go ahead and lift up the drive here and just make sure that you guys clean out anything that might be in here. Uh, again, that you can just take a microfiber or whatnot and uh, just kind of wipe or whatever. You just wanna make sure you don't damage these pins that's in here or you don't damage this pin right here, but just kind of give it a nice little light wipe on the inside there. When it comes to this part right here, this is where I would just take, you know, again, the microfiber cloth and just kind of dust it off just to make sure you got everything out of here. And then if you need to, you got your brush to be able to kind of get down into some of the fine areas and just kind of lightly wipe it down. You don't wanna, you don't wanna damage it or anything like that. You just wanna make sure you can get all of the stuff out of here and then just kind of wipe it down like so. Now, if you want to, uh, because again, this is just plastic, so there's nothing you can be able to hurt it, you can take one of these wipes right here and easily just wipe one of the alcoholic wipes around here just to make sure it's clean. And then from there, take the actual drive, put it back on here, boom, it's in there. And then from there, we're pretty much done with this side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back, put these plates back on here. Now this side, you're pretty much gonna do the exact same thing. You just pop those off. Now it's gonna sound like you're breaking it, but I promise you, you're not. Uh, so we're just gonna take these, we're just gonna pop this side off here, like so. And then boom, on this side, we pretty much got the exact same thing. Now this here is gonna be your actual battery. Um, if you guys want to, you can kind of go in here and kind of mess with that if you want to. But again, I would stay mainly on the outside here because again, I don't think too much is gonna get inside of there. Again, the main area that I feel like that's gonna have the most dust is gonna be on that fan and you've already cleaned that from the other side. So if you guys wanna do something on this side, again, I would take one of these wipes here and just kind of wipe down on the plastic and then from there just kind of give it a nice little wipe just to make sure everything is clean i always struggle putting these plates back on man i'm not gonna lie they're not the they're not definitely not the uh easiest to put back on that's for sure snap it in like that your ps5 slim is all clean all ready to go and again on the back here if you want to again without messing up the porch you can just kind of do a light little dust down or whatnot and then do a final clean wipe around the whole outside get all of those fingerprints off, get all the fingerprints off here on the top, as well as on the other side. And then just like that, man, you got a pretty much a brand new clean PS5 Slim that's ready to go. All right, so now that we pretty much got all that, the next thing I wanna do is let's go ahead and take it on over here to my gaming setup, so that way we can get and finish installing the NVMe M.2 drive and uh, get it all set up. And then I'm also gonna show you guys exactly how to set it up to where you can get your games, the new ones that you guys download, to go directly to the uh, SSD instead of going to the internal drive. So let's go. All right, so we just got over here to the setup. The only thing I did was just power on the PlayStation Slim, and uh, we got this message right here. Now I'm gonna move out of the way because I want you guys to see exactly what's on the screen. Now the first thing that we see here is it's going to ask us to be able to format the drive. Basically this is going to put the SSD back into its original state and it's gonna make sure that it is compatible to this system right here and get everything there. Now, if you guys are installing a SSD that has data already on it, formatting this drive is going to delete everything that is on there, anything that is uh, screenshots, video clips, anything like that that's on that SSD, it is definitely going to delete it off of that M.2. But since ours is brand new out of the box, we're gonna go ahead and just format the SSD 
and it's going to go ahead and go through the formatting process. Pretty simple, pretty quick. Now it says the read speed of our M.2 is as follows. If you experience any problems now, right now our read speed is 6,900 megabits per second, which is pretty fast. So we're going to go ahead and press OK. And then here to be able to change our games to installs. Now, this is the part where it's going to tell us how we can actually install the games that we want right onto the SSD that we installed in here. Now I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that, but it does walk you through that full process of how to do that. Now it's going to rebuild the database here and it's just going to log us right into our PlayStation. Now, the first thing that we want to do is as soon as we uh, are on the system here and we got everything loaded up, we want to go ahead and go over to our settings. And then from here, we want to go ahead and go down to storage. And then we want to go to, we'll see now M.2 SSD storage. Now here we can see exactly how much storage we got. You can see here free space is two terabytes full. Uh, you also have the option to reformat in here if you ever have some type of, uh, you know, if you ever want to wipe it clean or something like that, then you can do that in here as well. Uh, now, the part where I was talking about as far as how you guys can download games directly onto it versus it being on the internal drive, you want to go down to installation location and then over here for PS5 games and apps. Right now, it is set to install directly onto the console, but for here, we want to go ahead and start moving them over to the M.2 SSD, and we go ahead and select that. And then also the same for PS4 games. If you guys have that, you can uh, also move that over to that as well. Now, um, now, I would only select this if you guys have already filled up your drive on your PlayStation 5, and then from there, you can start moving everything over, uh, over to the M.2 drive. Now, from there, Anytime that I go in here, let's say I go to, uh, I don't know, let's go ahead and go over to our game library and then let's go to our collection, right? So let's say if I go in here and say, all right, I want to go ahead and reinstall uh, Jedi Fallen Order, right? And then from here, I can go ahead and press the PS5 one and automatically when I press download, it's going to now start downloading that directly to the M.2 drive instead of downloading it directly to the internal SSD storage which is exactly what we want. But yeah, man, it's just that simple of how to actually set everything up and get everything installed onto your system. I'm just gonna go ahead and let this download. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it, man. Just wanted to show you guys the proper way of how to actually clean and keep this bad boy running and maintaining as smooth as it did on day one. And then also show you guys exactly how to properly install your NVMe M.2 SSD and uh, get that all running and updated properly. So if you guys got any questions, man, definitely let me know down in the comments section below the ps5 portal is almost here we got a couple more days and that content is definitely coming man i got some fire videos coming y'all way uh when it comes to that if y'all got any questions man let me know down in the comment section below again man i appreciate all you guys support we getting we getting close we're probably about at the time of me filming this video we're about 500 some subs away from hitting that 100k subscriber mark man i appreciate all you guys support y'all been running it up y'all been running it up man going crazy so let's just keep this community going man keep the train rolling and uh i'll see y'all in the next one squad we out <laughs>